All right, how's everybody doing out there? I am Hooka John, you guys know me. Or else you wouldn't be watching this video right now. So here I am in my office. I wanna tell you something really important about Hookah Expo Worldwide 2018. Right now we are March 2nd, 2018. Um, we're gonna have the most amazing second Hookah Expo Worldwide event coming up in August. August 4th and 5th to be exact um, at the Las Vegas Convention Center. So it's gonna be a big upgrade from last year's event. I know many of you guys were there and we have even more coming this time and more exhibitors and it's gonna be amazing. So get on Facebook's group for uh, Hookah, uh, Hookah Expo Worldwide and then there's a website, hookahexpoworldwide.com. Right now smoking a little, uh, I decided to mix Tangier's Brambleberry with some Cane Mint, big deal. All right, it's smoking great. Uh, there's an 80 feet bowl with a flavor saver, three cubettes on it, and smoking just pleasantly. The point of today's video is not to ramble on. Uh, we decided to carry a product that is comparable to some of the products that we make here. Uh, they're called the alpaca bowls. So I'm going to go ahead and pause and show you what we've got for you. So here we are on this lovely table of alpaca bowls. So we're going to go through and give you a little breeze through on these. Check them out. Many of you guys are familiar with them, but I've never carried them. Why? Because I have my own line of bowls and they are uh, very compared to these bowls. So I'm going to go through. Here's just a quick lineup of some of my bowls. So I'm going to, uh, the hookah john bowls, there's the 80 feet, there's the unica, the ferris bowl, the tritus bowl, the retro harmony, the wide gauge harmony, the red clay, and the flashback alien. So let's go through and look at some of these up close. So here we go. Um, it's really hard for me to do this video. I'm going to be honest. You guys know I'm always honest with you guys because this is a competing bowl, uh, line of bowls, anyhow. So um, it's going to be hard for me to um, maybe be unbiased about it, but who gives a crap, right? You guys are all biased in your own ways too. You have your preferences, and so I'm just going to bring you some information here. Um, differences. Let's take a difference. Uh, I hear all of these things online that are just so ridiculous okay they they say like uh there's people that believe it or not hate hookah john yeah that's right and so they'll say anything about how my bowls are not consistent and um that other bowls are and you know what you're getting every time but you never know what you're getting from a hookah john bowl so stupid so stupid so uneducated so blatantly biased and they're just trying to get you to buy <clears throat> another product now, let's see the consistency in these bowls. Do they all look the same? I'm gonna try to get something here. Let's go with this first one here, and these are called the Lapache. Okay, they look all right, yeah, yeah. Are they all the same? Mm, you be the judge. Let's see on these. There's the height differences there on the, God, I, I just tried to remember their names. Uh, I believe these are the Apaches. Are they all the same? From camera angles, it's hard to really get them, but there they are. Many of you guys already know this, uh, know this line, so sorry if it's going to take a little bit. Um, so these are all the same bowls in the same lineup. All right, pretty good bowls, by the way. I'm not going to knock them in any way. Um, these are the shit. I made it. That is the. God damn it! I forgot my notes. The this is the Lapache. These are the Rooks. And this is the La Rook. No, no, these are not Rooks. These, these are symphonies, I think. La Rooks, symphonies, and Lapaches. Okay, they're all the same size. They're all exactly the same, right? Just like, just like other people out there who claim to have industry knowledge, they're all exactly the same, right? Same height, same diameters, right? You can obviously see that, right? You know why? And now, I'm not busting on these bowls. I'm busting on people out there who give the wrong information to you guys who try to tell you that these are all perfect. None of these bowls are perfect. None of these bowls are perfect. Uh, actually, they, they all smoke perfectly. How about that? Because those little differences don't do much. And these are all handmade in the U.S. That is one similarity that the alpaca lineup has. 
that they're all handmade in the U.S. using American products. Yeah, you can see right there how those are just perfect. Just you can't tell the difference here at all, right? Now we can go to my bowls and do that, but that's not the point. Um, I, I just want to point it out because people will tell you certain things. Okay, uh, what do you call this bowl? I think this is the new Suri bowl, which is a plain funnel. Um, pretty cool. Uh, nice colors, nice glazes. These are, all right, you guys know these better than me, but see how this is all the same lineup of bowls right here? All different heights and so forth. It's all right, don't sweat it. They're still gonna smoke the same. People wanna hand pick and all that. Look, these are all works of arts here, works of art. Uh, here you got some rooks. Uh, these are the uh, smaller or medium rooks. Okay, so I just want to get those in up in person. Now we're going to go over to my bowls in a little bit and see any differences if we pull out bowls. I don't even have to do that because I think the smarter ones of you out there get that and understand that. It's just you get new people and then some people who have the ultimate biases trying to feed you crap in this industry and uh, they're total um uh, they're, they're actually destroying the hookah community the cancer of the hookah community I'm trying to tell you that i mean look at those differences but again who cares right they're all they're all bowls and they're all gonna smoke good and you are getting a one-off on all of these so anyhow, let's do a little comparison. Then another thing people talk about, clay is better. Certain clays are better. Let's see how you can tell a little bit about the clay. This is the clay from an alpaca bowl. And then this is a clay. This is the clay from... Nah, that doesn't look too focused too well. Yeah. Let's see if we can focus in a little bit. So you can see a difference in clay. One thing I will point out that the alpaca line has a much smoother clay than the hookah john line which is more porous it's rougher now for appearances you would say the alpacas are just nicer i, I would say that they're nicer um as far as appearances that smoothness whereas the hookah john bowls are a little porous now which one performs better people will give you all their opinions but what i want to do is um i i don't want to go too um critical on my bowls or the alpaca bowls because they're all doing a good job and there are different opinions out there so if anybody wants to come by one time and do a comparison on just quality uh not quality but performance on the clays we can do that i'm open to that so that is it for these bowls i'll show you just since we're comparing bowls Look, there's a ton of bowls out there on the market. Um, the alpaca ones, look, you're a hookah smoker, you're a collector, get an alpaca bowl, okay? They're a good quality. Um, get a hookah john bowl, they're a good quality. Collect, you don't have to be on one particular side of any spectrum. There are a lot of crap bowls out there that I've been seeing, and, uh, and everyone's so super excited when a new bowl comes on the market, but I don't know, do you guys just go off of pictures or what? Because I can tell sometimes by pictures, not all the time, of uh, the performance, uh, not the performance, the quality of the, the clay. Here's our red clay line. Okay, Tritus bowls, really good. We're really short on bowls. We've been selling quite a bit here. Um, there's some more. And they're not lined up evenly, so you can tell if there's a difference in uh conform or uniformity i guess it's hard to tell because these are angled right now let's just let's just line these up see if you can tell any differences from the hookah john bowls god this is the angle that you do these it looks so bad in the camera it's actually these two are actually perfectly identical but it doesn't look that way on camera um so i'm not going to go into the nitpicking details i am uh proud of our bowl line and I'm also excited to be carrying the alpaca bowl line there you go it's just a little comparison but here's something that you can do let me pause this for a sec here's something you can do 
buy both, right? Why not? Compare for yourself. See what your favorites are. I see people online saying, oh, uh, my hookah john bowls are the best. They're better than any other ones. And I hear people saying, oh, my alpaca bowl, this, that is better than any other one. Good. You know why? Because you are entitled to have preferences, right? I have my preferences. And I'm sure that you do too. So the point is, if you love hookah, uh, get good quality products. And I'm going to recommend both to you. And um, I have used the alpaca bowls in the past, just not on a regular basis. I've tried them. Guess what? They've smoked and they've smoked well. So points of this, all right, there are different bowls out there, different options. I'd get one of those two lines. I'd get one of each, tell you the truth. And then the ones that you like get, have a collection. Um, Alpaca Bowl Company is going to be exhibiting at Hookah Expo Worldwide. So come out and check them out for yourself in person. Um, they always bring an alpaca out, an actual alpaca. It's, um, it's kind of strange having that big animal in their booth out there and you get to touch it, pet it, take selfies with it, and it's pretty fun. So thank you to Alpaca Bowl Company for uh, supplying us with your products, as well as exhibiting at Hookah Expo Worldwide. So that's it for now. I will see you guys soon. Tickets should be going on sale for Hookah Expo Worldwide momentarily. See you guys.